Smurfy greetings. This is the Hell Gear, and I am here reading off this wonderful little bit of uh, sad news from the Smurfs Epic Run Facebook page. Dear Smurfs Epic Run players, or as I like to call us, Smurfs Epic Runners, the Smurfs Epic Run adventure is drawing to an end. In a few weeks' time, we will be removing the game from the store. Unfortunately, this means that we will no longer be creating additional content in the future. On behalf of our development team, we would like to thank you again for being such an amazing community. Additional information is coming soon in a frequently asked questions. As you can plainly see, all good things come to an end. We get that. And this is one of them. And the community is not happy about this. Of course, this was done on June 11th. So, June 13th, they posted this at 3 a.m. A little addendum here. I'm just going to read this off. Now, of course, since this is a bit of a discussion, I would like everyone watching, whether you are a player, whether you watch someone on YouTube play Smurfs Epic Run, or if you're a member of the Smurfs Epic Run development team, please chime in on this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyway, it reads, Dear Smurfs players, in addition to our previous announcement, our team wants to provide you with some more information. Smurf Civic Run was a great adventure, and we want to take some time to thank all of you for your involvement in the community. The removal of Smurf Civic Run from the App Store, Google Play, and Amazon Store will occur on July 19th, 2018. So that's essentially a month in about a week and a half, or a month and a half week. Yeah, essentially it's a month. Screw the half week part. It's essentially a month. After that date, you will still be able to play the game on your device and you will keep your main progression. Chapters, levels, gems, coins, energy. As well as all of your previous in-app purchases on your device. Interesting how they don't say gems. You'll keep all of your favorite Smurfs you may have already unlocked or paid for and can continue to fit them with their rings, artifacts, and companions. But please note that you won't be able to download the game anymore or make in-app purchases after July 19th, 2018. This means that if you remove the game from your device after July 19th, it will no longer be possible to restore it again with your cloud save. Also, a few features won't be available. These include the tournament, the companion's house, the free chest, the wheel of chances, and the adventure mode. Don't hesitate to comment below if you have any questions. The Smurfs Epic Run team. Okay, so let's talk about, first and foremost, my feels on this, you know. The game is two years old. I've been playing it for about two years. I started on July 15th, and with 2018 being the second year anniversary, it's kind of on a sad note, you know, because four days later, you guys are planning to axe the game. And I'm going to be honest with you guys at the Smurfs Epic Run development team. Removing the game from the app stores is it's, it's a bad idea. You know, I've talked to many people, not just in this community, but, but other my, mm, but my other Smurfs communities. And some of them just started playing the game in March of this year. You know. They've seen me play, they've seen others talk about the game, they're like, oh, I want to give this a shot. And taking it out of the store is just, you know, it robs new players of this. Um, also, with the new Smurfs cartoon coming up in 2019 as they're slated, this is really bad timing. Because there's still a lot more left in the game that can, that, you know, you can put more into the game. Now, I have a few issues that I would like to just start off with my Q&As here. Now, first and foremost, I talked to customer support about two issues I had. One regarding the loss of Pumpkin Smurf and one regarding the loss of my rank 5 VIP status. And I'm wondering if I'll ever get that back. 
<laughs> Next, let's talk about the features you're taking away. Uh, first and foremost, tournament, I can understand that one because, you know, that's players competing with everyone else. The Companion's House is kind of a tough blow because sending the Companions to get you stuff is one of the ways that you get gems and keys and extra energy and sarsaparilla. So that's going to be a tough blow to see that close because you won't be able to send off the Companions. Now the free chest, I can understand that one going away. You know, because chests originally were eight keys and then we had this 80 key thing. Now the Wheel of Chance and the Adventure Mode. Uh, I guess you're talking about the Epic Adventure Mode. <laughs> you can tell it's been a, I've been playing for a while. Now getting rid of these modes is problematic for a couple of reasons. One are the legendary smurfs that revolve around them. You know, there are three legendary smurfs that can only be obtained by completing the epic adventure, which after the update before item hunts were starting around, the meta for that was changed and the tournaments, well, the tournaments we get that. Wheel of Chances, 75 spins in a row, it, for not just once for Grandpa Smurf, but a second time for Feral Papa is rough. You know, that's seriously rough, you know. Is there a way to keep those modes? You know, it's, I say that, you know, because it's going to be rough getting those. And I've already completed two of the epic adventures. The first time I would complete it, I normally got Rebel Smurf before I had to erase my game and restart. But this other time, I cleared two of them and I still didn't get one of the three legendary Smurfs available from Epic Adventure. So I'm really bummed out about that. You know, next question, um, let's talk about chapters here, and I want to say this specifically about the Lost Village, you know, when you guys introduced Super Hard Mode, the Lost Village was an exclusive chapter, then later on with the updates, you changed it to a portal world, which means players, myself included, and a good handful of others in some of my Smurfs communities didn't get the complete ultra hard mode in the Lost Village. So is there a way that you guys can make that its exclusive chapter, aka chapter four? So we get the chance to collect the reward for clearing Lost Village ultra hard mode? Okay, next question. Ah. Uh, are we going to be able to cloud save after July 19th? That's a big one because, you know, if we won't be able to save, that's, you know, really isn't too much point left in saving our game. Now, again, getting rid of the game is, that's, that's, that's not, that's not good thinking. You know, because players can still join in the game and play it and enjoy it, you know. The thing is, Smurfs Epic Run is one of the top three Smurfs mobile games played by people. Specifically, it is the number two top Smurf game played by people. Number three is Smurfs Bubble Story, which is based off the Lost Village movie. And number one being... Smurfs Village, you know, they're making knockoffs of Smurfs Epic Run that just do not compare to this and Taking the game out of the stores is like Stripping the silver medalists in the Olympics. It just won it fair and square of his medal and he didn't even cheat You know, it does a disservice to the players Now Are we gonna be able to keep our keys because it says we'll get to keep chapters, levels, coins, gems, energy, but what about keys? Are we going to be able to keep them? Especially since we won't be able to send 
the companions out to get more keys since the companion's house is being taken away. You know. Also, one of the things that was kind of left out was the red fragments. And one of the things I had talked about in a discussion was making a specific shop. And in this shop, you could have certain past things that you that players who are starting the game or missed out on events would be able to get like the legendary smurfs of the past but instead of purchasing them with coins and whatnot you could take the red fragments that you collect in the stages and use those as currency you know you know it's it's a thought i know you guys are like saying that's the end but this brings up another issue and that's the map in chapter three you know, this news only proves that you're literally leaving the players underwater. I'm not saying this as a joke. I'm saying this because the most recent expansion on the map is the underwater section, you know. And I'm thinking, well, if, if the game is coming to an end, you know, if this is really it, this is not just some joke or whatnot, because many people in the community, especially in this Facebook community, they're like, well, can't you just sell the IPs to another developer so they can take over, you know? I'm thinking a little something like this. Now, now hear me out on this one, development team, because I've, I've taken the idea to, to brainstorm all of this, and man, I really need to sip my orange juice. Okay. So, think of it like this. One, I want to give you guys a possible approach to keeping the game in the store, but still giving it an ending. You know, instead of removing it from the store and leaving players, you know, leaving them out in the cold and underwater, why not try this for an example? Let me just throw a sales pitch, you know. Say we're going to the game on whatever store, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, whatever, right? And they're going to do Smurfs Epic Run, you know? Keep it in the store, but do it like this. Make one last update. You could even write it up kind of like this, you know? You know how it has the description wherever on your store, like in Google Play. You click on it, blah, 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 install, blah, and then it has the information on the most recent update. You can do it, I'll just throw it out there like this. Say, for this last one. We would like to thank all of our players for playing Smurfs Epic Run. This is the final update. Then we can talk about things that are, could be in this final update. For example, as I was going to say, continue with my pitch here. You know, this is the final update. We're going to give you guys 40 more stages to the main map. You know, the Swamp of No Return and the Enchanted River. We'll give you guys access to... A special shop where you can buy legendary smurfs that you may have missed or that were removed from the in-app purchases such as Wahina Smurfette, Lifeguard Smurf, Smurf Willow, Smurf Blossom that you might have wanted but you can pay in Red Fragment currency. Even the playable version of King Smurf, you know. These two new areas will also give us the chance to collect a legendary smurf upon completing the collection pieces, as well as a cinematic of the proper ending to the game. You know, like at the end of the Enchanted River, you complete the last stage. And for these 40 stages, every five stages, you can have us get well, one legendary smurf to rescue. So, eight more, you know. You could even make it so that we're adding some more of the female Smurfs from the Grove in a Smurfy Grove collection, right? Then you can say some features after this date will no longer be accessible. These include Tournament Companions House 
free chess wheel of chance epic adventure mode and with the ending after you complete the last stage you can have it so that it's a nice little cutaway because at the beginning of the game you make a cutaway where Gargamel makes the potion and the purple fog putting everybody except clumsy to sleep and he gets away you know you can make a cut a cutaway where all the Smurfs have escaped Gargamel they found a new village to live in they're all happy you know give the game a proper ending this way the game can still be in the stores you can let everyone know you're not doing the up the, any more updates for it anymore all the code for any future events because I'm guessing we're going to have one more item hunt or a couple more item hunts later you know that way there's more to do we can actually, as players who are on Chapter 3 in the underwater stage, actually not be underwater anymore. And the game, again, it gets a proper send-off. You're letting the players know, we're going to do this last update. It's going to do this. We're not updating the game anymore. Thank you for all of your support over the two years. We hope that you continue to play Smurf's Epic Run. Mm -hmm. That's all I would. That's all I'm going to say on the issue. Again, to all who are watching this, who are listening to this, again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully, you guys at the Smurfs Epic Run development team will hear this one out. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you have to say on the matter. If it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea, if it's me wasting my breath. Well, thank you for hearing me out, and I will see you guys next time.